All right, welcome back to Pleaty B Outdoors. Okay, so it is actually, uh, officially it is the hunting season, but um, I decided to get that break. I haven't managed to get any good content, so that's why you guys haven't seen me made or any or post any of um, those those uh, hunting videos quite yet. But um, anyways, my buddy Coozer, the guy that I've always been fishing with, um, you guys seen him in a few of my videos. Anyways, he's been scouting for me, and uh, he actually came out towards uh, the east coast and um, guess what the salmon are in so um, it's the king salmon run the, the, they usually run first so he managed to catch a few in the last few days so um, he gave me a tip of where to go and um, that is what we are doing today we're gonna try and uh, test our luck out and hopefully we manage to land some fish all right I will see you guys out on the water all right so I just ran to my first group of people right by the bridge um, I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly where I am too much because again, this is still really early in the season and I don't want to blow up the stream right away given eventually people will be coming up here and searching for these fish but I don't want it to be quite there yet so that's why I'm not gonna give you too much detail on this specific location and uh, yeah There's some staged up right past these trees. He came right at me, but I don't know if he saw me or not. I don't think so. But he started swimming this way, coming closer to me, and he just turned just now. Um, I might give it a cast, but the hole that my buddy had actually shown me, it looked like it was even more stacked than this. So I don't think I'm gonna be fishing too much in here. I don't want people to leap over me and go to that one spot that he has shown me. Anyway guys, it is in, oh, in, it is insanely shallow here. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing much float fishing quite yet. And um, yeah, they're just, I don't wanna spook them. I think they're gonna spook if I was to uh, if I was to even attempt to float. Let's try to get a little closer. Okay, so a blue heron just flew by just now and they swirled around there's this little branch that's hanging right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go closer, sneak up closer, and then uh, I don't think I'm gonna be casting my fly in there because it's kind of a hard cast. So I'm gonna try to sneak a spawn sack into there and watch it float down. Um, again, the water is stained, so I think it's the stain. It's stained only because of the fish action. I think that's what I'm think. I'm benching on. What is this? Oh my gosh. These chubs are so huge. Oh, how annoying. All right guys, spawn is not working. Chubs are eating it. Um, I guess we're just gonna be throwing lures from now on. I think that'll be the best route. Um, hopefully we get one to react, but honestly. Okay. 
a gallon right in the mouth. They are out there. Oh my gosh, I don't want to eat. And it's, and it's a nice hen too. God, I hate this reel. I'm gonna throw this reel. Garbage, Shimano. I should just use my Fluger. Nice hen. Still chromish. I don't think it floss. You guys saw the bobber down, like it nibbled it, and then it went down a little bit, and I set the hook. And this, she was way, way at the bottom. Oh! 
Oh my god, you... I played with her too long. She did her crazy run. Oh my god. Well, if you're gonna get away, that's how you do it. Oh, look, I floss that guy. Oh, I'm flossing them. Oh my god. Oh, I still have her. Oh, okay. I still have her. What happened was a, a fish had flossed, took off running upstream. That's why it had like one last spurt of energy. And I thought it was her. <laughs> Oh, scare me. I seriously thought I lost her. I was wondering where my float was. I was looking up there to see if it broke off up there. But no, it didn't. Now I'm kind of scared because I didn't bring a net. <laughs> that was crazy, guys. I seriously thought I lost her. That nice hen. This will be my second fish. Um, the first one I had caught him on the uh spoon nail bucky right in the mouth no this one ate spawn i'll be careful she could still break me off because my i only have 10 pound line on and she could be gashing up and cutting the line up Sure. Hey guys, those who don't who say they don't eat no more, I'm gonna show you the hook. Sorry, she's really dirty. But her hook is right there, right in the corner. Ooh, right at the tip. See that? Right in the snout. Woo! That was a crazy bite, guys. Um, I hope I got the bobber down for you guys because um that was pretty crazy. Um, I guess hopefully you got you guys saw it. The bobber, there's a lot of fish out there, okay? So it does seem like I I was flossing it, but then the thing is, um my 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 spawn is actually way at the bottom while all those other fish are like suspended. And that hen must have been like at the bottom because they always say that the hens come and like supposedly crush the spawn sack because they want them to like um weed out other potential um competitors for their fries and so yeah anyways so that hen did hit you saw it tapping and it went down and that's when I set the hook and then she fought for quite a while I was like playing with her a lot because uh, I didn't want to lose her but then that last spurt I hope you guys saw that because I seriously thought I lost her I thought she had like a little spurt of energy left and she just bolted and I thought it had broken off because she just peeled line and then as um as i was reeling back my line i thought i was like flossing a bunch of other fish because my line was just kind of catching them and suddenly she was still on the line and the funny thing was when i was looking for my bobber i didn't see it floating so i thought maybe she had broken me off and taking my bobber upstream so then i was potentially going to go look for it honestly but then um when I started reeling in my line, she was still there. She was still in a hole. She had just swam deep with my bobber and I just seriously thought I lost her, but I didn't. That was awesome, guys. Got my hook back. Um, I ended up just using my knife and kind of like popping it off. I don't have a pliers with me. I am really unprepared for this trip, guys. But anyways, guys, stay tuned and hopefully I get in some more fish because um, they're all still here and I am gonna give that a go again. Um, I have approximately like two hours left to fish plus minus 30 minutes but um yeah stay tuned guys
Yes, yet. Got another one. Make sure you guys are recording. You guys see a bobber down? Oh, this one's a bucky. <laughs> this is fun, man. Oh. The thing about Kenya is they, they fight really strong, but then uh, when they're done, they are done. Like, dead done. Done. Yep, careful because he might make me floss other fish. <laughs> He's almost gone. He's almost done. You see it right in the corner of his jaw. Over here, over here. Right there, right in the corner. Look at this guy. He's gotten beat up. Probably from my line. But because he has damages like this, see that? He's been snagged by other people. That snagged right there, too. I'm not gonna risk taking him because the DNR is gonna think that I snagged him, too. So I'm gonna let him go. Let him live to see another day. Oh, it's pretty cool guys all right guys well that wraps up for the day um currently right now it's like 4 45 i gotta hurry home sleep for two hours and go to work so um anyways guys i hope you guys enjoy um whatever content i managed to salvage all of this quick outing um again this was not planned so i had forgotten a lot of things but you know what we managed to get on some fish and they are here so um they should be here for at least the next two to three weeks and then after that the kings they kind of die off and then uh, the coho start following through and then that's when i'll be back out here again and uh throwing streamers like i how i did last year so i can't wait for that it's gonna be a fun time anyways guys that'll be all for today again please like share subscribe i appreciate you guys till next time peace